Well, if you're looking for a place where everyone knows your name, a new mapping tool could help you find it. A local man is on a quest to make sure dive bars don't get squeezed out of the area. You load up the, the website, it gets your location and tell you where the closest bar is, which in this case we're in JJ Foley's. The goal is just if I'm in Boston, uh, where's the closest dive bar? Nick Roy loves a good dive bar and wants to share what he's found all over the Boston area. That's why he's created this free mapping tool. BostonDives.com will tell you where the closest dive bar is based on where you are, giving you directions and maybe some money saving tips as well. That was kind of what I wanted to highlight on the map was not the, you know, hey, here's the cool foodie dish, but here's the local places that are still still hanging in there and places we need to support. Going to Iceland now. Julia Sockel owns the Tam on Tremont Street, as well as a couple of other dive bars in the area. The dive bar is great because it gives you that neighborhood feel that you can't get a lot of other places. It brings back that feeling uh, before the internet, before cell phones. If you wanted to come see your friends, you meet them at the local bar. Drawing people from all walks of life. This is the grit. This is where your locals come, your construction workers, your lawyers, your bankers, your service industry. And that's why every time you visit, you come back again and again. And the prices help. Sockle thinks the mapping tool will boost business. Because it really helps people who are coming from out of town who really want that dive bar feel and to really understand what the neighborhood's all about. And a lot of times dive bars don't advertise. This has all been such a, a shock, to be perfectly honest, that anyone even would care about it. As the map goes viral. I think it's been 8,000 people have used it in the last month, which is 8,000 more than I expected. Roy is shaking his head and loving it. People were messaging me, I'm coming over from Germany in November, going here and here, where, where would you recommend? I was like, wow, this is actually way more than I ever thought it would be. It sounds like a big success already, and Nick Roy says he doesn't have a real methodical approach to who gets posted. He just likes to find places that are locally owned, and he says cheap drinks and unpretentious food are two big pluses. He also says he's getting a lot of recommendations from people as his site gets more popular. We've put a link to his map on Boston25news.com.